Good morning, and we're in Acts 10, verses 28 and 29. And he said to them, You yourselves know how unlawful it is for a Jew to associate with or visit anyone of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any person common or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. I asked then why you sent for me. Now, Peter explains uh, why he, a godly Jew, um, who was also a Christian, had entered a Gentile's house. Uh, so he explained the message he received uh, in a vision, realizing that God wasn't only or even primarily talking about food, but he was talking about uh, calling any man common or unclean. Now, Peter understood that the vision was about people, and uh, the principle still relates to food, uh, we understand believers are not under any obligation to keep a kosher diet. However, uh, we um, eat um, things uh, for health reasons. And um, so God, God's not putting this a restriction. Jesus broke the same principle. Do not perceive whatever enters some, uh, a man from the outside cannot defile him because it does not enter his heart but his stomach and is eliminated thus purifying all foods so jesus is breaking down this wall uh, regarding foods the foods was for health reasons now paul knew this principle i know and am convinced by the lord jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself romans 14 14 again in, in colossians 2 16 and 17 therefore he could conclude therefore let no one judge you in food or drink, uh, which are shadows of the things to come, but the substance is Christ. So, you know, here's the, the kosher laws regarding clean and unclean, you know, what's going to be good for you to eat and not good for you to eat, and people were carrying it, of course, to the extreme. This is con confirmed. Uh, if Peter did not receive the vision, uh, he would have traveled, he would not have traveled. Uh, you know, with the Gentile messengers. Um, God had to prepare Peter's heart with a vision before Peter would come. Big command. How will you respond to the commands of God?